good shit, man. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, good morning, good morning. One, two, we up three. with the bull this morning. I'm gonna be real. I just caught this video. Michelle Obama's brother sues Milwaukee's One, two, private three. school over alleged racial bias. I'm you, I'm up with the bullshit this morning, a little early. So I try to get these businesses flowing this morning. The line game has been trying to really blow up. I'm trying to keep up, you know what I'm saying? text messages and stuff like that but the lawn care game's gonna take off you know we still doing the DoorDash, ebay i kind of slowed up on it. i'm gonna be honest i haven't been uh take care of my story much like i was in the beginning i need to get back on that keep that income going too you know we all over the streams we all over these streams of income you know what i'm saying we trying to blow this channel up together so we all can keep going on because the more I progress, the more I can help you all see the things you all want to do also. I mean, that's just being 100, 1,000 wild with you, be real. But, uh, like I said, it's early this one, so forgive me on this video right here. But I hope we all woke up on some positivity, uh, motivated. Let's get this day started. You know how we do over here. Let's get this thing jumping, 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 jumping. You know what I'm saying? I probably didn't tell you who I was this morning for all you all don't know. This is LG Edutainment. Like God himself. But you can call me LG. Good morning to all the G-O-Ds. All the gods, the true real gods. All my queens. And all my pretty women. You know how we do every boy for me this shit popping. What we do, let's do our thing, y'all. Let's get our spiritual vibes right. Usa, Usa, Usa. Thank you, God, for giving me another beautiful, beautiful day. Better than I was yesterday. And you know what? Let's get it. says during the pandemic while his son taught him, what we saw was a repeated use of racial and ethnic stereotypes in actual assignments that are for children who weren't physically in the class and an insensitivity to social okay. over there just staring at this man like that man some interesting core values and their communication so he thought was who they was that shit was gonna be way different like, bro, you know where you live at, man. It's America, man. I don't care who your sister is, bro. Fuck your kids doing that thing. That's in the first place, man. Come on, man. Faculty was, quote, the disrespectful and deflating. Kelly felt blindsided by this. We thought it was a, a two-way street. We were sharing the cake. He was sharing his thoughts and observations. We did provide a lot of information about what we heard, what we saw, what we thought about um, the curriculum and academic. Robinson say they chose the school because of its commitment to equity, diversity, and inclusion. But now, they say while the University School of Milwaukee did talk the talk, they're not walking the walk. What I had learned through this process was that they don't want to know um, of these incidents because if you don't, if no one reports it, it's not happening. What does this say that the board found? So once again, this man thinking... This man thinking that he gonna go over there to this Milwaukee ass school because he thinking he Michelle Obama's brother and she gonna be way different. His kids gonna get all these luxuries and giving shit. First of all, what the hell the school doing is using racial ass slurs and shit. What that mean? What they talking about? I hear a lot about this old Mark Twain bullshit in these schools and all this bullshit and they using the word nigga and all this shit. I went to school. All my motherfucking, what, 12 years, graduated high school and all that bullshit. It wasn't a whole lot of nigga play thrown around from my teachers and shit like that. So I don't understand where they get all this crazy racial languages and shit like that. 
I guess my kids are my kids. My generations are where I went to school. I guess we just didn't play. We went, we went on that bullshit, I guess. And the teachers respected that too. And teachers probably went around that bullshit. But now nah, they trying to input and impose that agenda up on these fucking kids' impressionable minds. that your family is still dealing with uh, these issues? So that's a, that's a great question, and I wish I had an answer for that. We started hearing from these families who don't have the opportunity or, or the platform to sort of speak out, and if they did, it would get tamped down pretty quickly. We're hoping that in addition to sort of teaching our own children how to advocate for themselves, that we're teaching, uh, we're, we're, we're helping people who don't have as big of a voice have a voice Here's my voice. We don't want to go to your fucking schools no way. Them schools don't teach nothing fucking that much better than these other public schools be teaching. Quit on that fucking front ass bullshit. First of all, your kids should have been out there going to school with the regular fucking kids anyway. Y'all from Shot Town, nigga, act like where you from. We're trying to play got your kids in that uppity ass fucking Milwaukee ass bullshit ass B ass ass school, nigga. Man, move around with that bullshit. Next. Here we go with some more bullshit, YouTube. I usually don't even get into these fucking politics, but that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We can talk about everybody, you know what I'm saying? Look at this Benzino weird-ass fucking shit. I'm tired, tired of these motherfucking hard-ass rappers, so-called hard-ass street thugs, talking all that gangster shit. And then look at this Fugazi-ass shit. They get caught in every fucking time. Be your motherfucking self, man. Don't listen to these clowns, man. These niggas don't know. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, before I get off the topic of Ray Benzino, video come out two weeks ago. You wilding out at the cops in the Red Roof Inn. What the? So, the five like, years, like you happened, trying to do better. It happened five years ago. That was five, that was five years ago. Stop lying. That was five years ago. Are you serious? Five years ago. You, you didn't see my Dominican baseball cut? I don't got that no more. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 had, the, I had the Dominican uh, 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 designated hitter cut back then. <laughs> um, yeah, man, that was five years ago. And um, my, my child's mother had just took Zeno. He was one years old, just moved him out of He broke up. She just ran to California, took my son out there. Ran out there trying to like figure it out and um, try to reconcile, reconcile with her. It didn't happen. I had to come back to Atlanta. I didn't have a place to stay. My money was low. Um, didn't have a car. Um, Barrio, who's a friend of mine over 20 years, worked at the source, worked with hip hop people. Um, used to own. I'm going to pause it right here. One of my dear friends, um, one of the smartest guys. People swaying around, mm, you know what I'm saying, all that kind of bullshit, it's because they taking their time, they trying to gather their thoughts, what they going to say, but one thing you cannot get past is human emotions and human slip ups, and this man finna tell you some shit that he didn't mean to say, watch this bullshit. Pick me up and um, how can I pick you up? Because see, you know, I don't want to jeopardize the quality of the day, but you know, I came from Cali, I didn't have too much money, I had to do my thing, so I had to get back Understood. to the street. I mean you don't even have to go you don't even have to get no deeper into it. Let's leave it there. We get it. The, the, yeah, let's the, not get no deep into that shit. Oh man, what's he doing? 
what she doing in the hotel with another man. And you hear that shit? What you doing in the hotel with another man? Plus, it ain't only that simple. This man was in there butt-ass naked. I had done all kind of cool shit in my life, man. I've been on these streets, man. I've been out here. I ain't always had paper. i tell you one fucking thing, though. Anybody ever caught me in no fucking odd-ass position with no naked-ass man? I've been locked up, all kind of shit. I ain't been on weird, compromising-ass position with no naked-ass man. You see what I'm saying? You caught in positions like that because your ass was in a compromising position with a naked ass, man. Nigga, speak your truth. Only the one speaking on this nigga right here. Only you know this cat right here. But the reason why, because he stands for an image of all this raw, 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 uh, uh, tough fucking machoism, right? I've been locked up, man. I'm, a, I'm, always a, I'm a nice guy. I'm going to let y'all know if y'all know I'm a nice kind of guy, right? I've been locked up. I grew up in hood. Man, all kind of crazy shit, man. You know what I mean? When you get these kind of cats like that, that really be on that energy like that, they ain't on that bullshit. Trust me. Trust, believe. I know I, I'm leaving some shit out, but I'm going to tell you, man. Don't trust the energy. It ain't what it is. Everybody get their shit peeled back. I don't believe we didn't slept. I remember on tour we didn't slept in motels four deep. Head to foot. Plus these niggas right here be the main ones talking about what's macho and what a man, what ain't a man. And these niggas right here getting booty. Man, I ain't playing with nobody's booty. Y'all niggas are booty boys, man. The fuck out of here. Bata boy. People have this thing where everything has to be a gay talk. So I think that, you know. Nah, niggas speak your true. truth. But, you know, people try to, you know, say mean shit or whatever. But, um, you know, I, I, I found it not just funny, but just, like, ridiculous. That we're at a stage now in life that if you're in a hotel room with a man, that you have to be gay. Yeah, when y'all naked, motherfucker. When y'all naked, nigga. Speak on that shit, whole ass nigga. Man, see, that's what I'm talking about, man. We ain't doing that cap bullshit shit around here, man. Oh, 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 oh. I'm, being, I'm being real. We ain't doing that cap bullshit shit around here. It's too early in the morning for this bullshit. You got Michelle Run Obama's brother out here mad because the motherfucker white school don't want to fuck with you, nigga. Free. You, Michelle Obama's brother, go get your fucking ends up. Go network. And build you a motherfucking school. That's the silly shit I'm talking about. You worry about what they over here doing, nigga. When you can be over here creating your own. Fuck what they doing. If you create your own, establish yourself, you'll crush they shit anyway. And they won't even be non-existent anymore, motherfucker. Then you got these hard, supposedly ass, hard ass, core ass street niggas out here. Gully, gully, slanging pounds, busting blocks. Whatever goofy shit you talking about, right? They put down... Young men every day who's trying to be stand-up gentlemen out here in this world and be respectable people. When they come out here with this booty, 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 bata boy bullshit. Man, I'm out of here. It's LG Entertainment. Like God himself, LG. I'm done with these fucking silly clowns. Peace. Share, subscribe, hit the notification button.